Welcome back to another PAL World video and today I just want to start this video off by saying thank you very much for a thousand subscribers. It's a pretty cool achievement, it's a nice little milestone. If you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel that would be much much appreciated. We have some really really cool glitches including as the title shows, how to spawn in two pals at the same time. That is possible, it is really really cool and I'm going to show you a really really fun and interesting set of glitches today. So anyway, let's just crack on with the first glitch. So number one in the list of today's video is the infamous duplication glitch. So we have some stuff in a chest right here, none of this actually is involved really in this. So if we go into the build section, you want to build something that is pretty high on everything, that needs a lot of resources because duplicating it makes it so much better and you end up getting more and more and more very quickly. So. For the sake of today's video, I'm going to do the production assembly line 2 because look at those three. Look at what you can get from it. So if I go to build it right now, I'm standing here and you can see if I walk out of the blue zone, I have nothing. So you need to get on the fine line of between there and there. So it's very simple. Once you have got to that fine line and you have enough, you just build and then run out at the same time. But I can't actually do that because there we go. Like that. So you build it, run out, cancel it, and you'll get everything on you. So I just now need to put everything back in. So it was that, that, that. And as you can see, if I go back into it, I had 189 refined ingots. I now have 289. So I'll try it again. So just remember, 289. And then I'll go in to do it once more. Like so. So hopefully, what is going on over there? Excuse me, Anubis. So we just go to cancel it right there and we'll put them all in and I don't think that worked but that's fine. Oh it did work, there you go, well there you go, 389, how cool is that? What is going on? I don't, anyway, let's move on to the next glitch. So this one isn't necessarily a glitch as such, I think it might be because it's definitely a little exploit, I think it's more exploit than glitch but I'll show you anyway. So I have the spear right here as you can see, it looks pretty damn sick. So if I go to mine, it goes pretty quickly, but if you time it right, every time your character pokes the spear forwards, you crouch up and down. It is so much quicker for some reason. So this is normal, and then this is if I crouch. Look how quick that is. Let me just try it one more time on here. How weird is that? It is so strange. Anyway, if you want to mine, basically get the spear and do that. It is so, so cool. Very, very strange. I'm not sure why that's a thing in the game, but eh, I don't know. So here it is, the glitch where you can get two pals at the same time. This is sick and it works even in combat as well. So you'll be 2v1 against anything and it's really, really good against the final bosses. So for this first stage you need is just you need a dead pal. So as you can see on screen, I'm getting my Gale Claw to get killed. It doesn't matter what you have, it's just because it was in my party at the time. So you get that killed and they'll run back to your base. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult and tricky to do, but once you get the hang of it, it's very good. So you have an alive pal that you can mount, you throw it down and before it actually releases out of the ball, switch over to select the dead pal. It will drop on the floor like it did on screen. And then what you do is you can go back to the pal that you wanted to actually bring out in the first place, mount it straight away. Sometimes it'll go back into its ball, but you then mount it straight away, dismount off it, and if done correctly, you can throw a different mount down and you've basically tricked the game into thinking that your pal is not there. But as you can see on screen, both of them are and it is sick. It is really, really overpowered, and this is a glitch that probably won't be allowed to have in the future, so try it now. And as you can see afterwards here, I was having a lot of fun with it. You can run around and just bully everything in sight, because if you have two top-level pals, I feel like this combination of Chill It and Jet Dragon is really, really handy, and it's really fun to use. I don't know why. This is such a weird glitch, but I think it's really cool, and you just bully everyone you can see. So this glitch up next we have is the unlimited money glitch. It involves the black marketeer and this little guy right here. It's the rush ore. Basically you need his mount so you can be running around in him like this. So we now need to go to this location on the fast travel. We need to go to the icy weasel hill. 
So if we fast travel to there right now, so we just get on him like this and follow this path round the mountain up here. So we just go all the way up here and we should see the black markets here on the side of the cliff. Okay, now we are here, we can see him right here on the edge. He's just looking off into the distance with nothing going on around him. Why is he here? I have no idea. But the best way you can do it is what you need to do now is stand next to this rock and do the reckless charge. So just left mouse click or RT I think it is on controller. Do it into him like this and he should go absolutely flying off. Dismount. See that time didn't work as well because he normally goes further down the hill. Look at that. See when he falls, I don't know who he's shooting. Oh, he's shooting my, my pig. So basically, now you've done that, he should lose all of that health and you can just get on a stronger pal, just like this guy, and then finish him off. Boom, he is now dead. And we can just pick up the loot that he gives us. Where is it? There it is. There we go. Beautiful stuff. And now, as you can see, obviously, you can't do this again straight away because he's gone. So if we then fly away from him, you can do this with any flying mount, doesn't matter. Just where this grass meets the snow, around about over here where the cliff edge is. We'll just stop here to get some energy back. And we should, after this, be able to then turn around. Oh, an egg. Hello. So we then take this, go around, and then go all the way back up. And he should be on the ledge again. There he is. Hello fella, how's it going? And just on this last one, it is a glitch that I uploaded in my last video a couple of days ago. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. I actually did the butcher method with the Jetragon and things like that. So this also gets you a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot, of good stuff. So we want to go to the Jetragon, throw him down on the floor. Now we need to equip the meat cleaver. So just as like I did in the last video, what we need to do is now butcher him. So hold down four, butcher the Jetragon. And once I've done the second one, I then get on top of him like that. Jump down to the floor and I will get everything that he drops on the side. This also works with the Frost Alien because it is the Alpha Pal. So as you can see in my party, if I go over that, you can see that there is an Alpha Pal symbol, meaning it is the boss. Once you've done this method and you've actually butchered the pal and then you do the glitch, I will just do it again. Soon you'll be able to actually get the schematics, especially if they are for the bosses. And I'm an absolute idiot and I just butchered a pal that I didn't have the mount for. So I now need to go and capture the Frost Alien once again. I am really annoyed at that. I can't believe I just did that. but. That just shows that with all of the alpha pals, I'll leave a list on the screen right here. So these pals drop each of the legendary schematics, so the gold variants which you can have, which basically make you completely overpowered. It is sick, it is really cool. Try it for yourself and in my next video, hopefully, I should have all of the legendary schematics so I can show you once again. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.